Of course, let's stay with uh, COVID. As the country prepares to receive the COVID vaccines tomorrow, opinion is varied, with some of you saying they are ready to receive the job, while others are skeptical, likely owing to the myths surrounding the vaccine. Our senior reporter, Rita Tinina, reports on the hopes, doubts, and, of course, stories of the COVID-19 vaccine as experts debunk the myths. 83 days since the first person in the world got the COVID-19 vaccine. The first batch, 1.02 million doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine arrived in the country on Tuesday. However, as with every other issue under the sun, on the ground, opinion on the vaccine is varied. And as usual, there are myths. Wengine wanasema hii chanjo ikudungwa uwezi kuza. Watu wawezi kuza. There are doubts. Uh, if at all it will have mm, a lot of side effects of which are negative, uh, then I don't see the need of taking. But there is also optimism. It uh, reduces rate, uh, rate uh, infections na rate of deaths. And the need for information. Experts, however, say there is nothing to worry about. So do not worry that they will make you infertile, they will make women stop giving birth. They will make men uh, stop being fertile or stop having erections. All those stories that people are saying, they are not true. These vaccines have been tested. These vaccines are safe. But what specialists term as common side effects cannot be ruled out? You know, when they're injecting the vaccine, pain in the site of the injection, some people reported pain both at the time of injection and lingering on for about an hour or two after the injection. Others reported swelling in the area where the, the vaccine, vaccine has been injected. There were a few people who got a bit of tiredness and weariness. We call it in medical terms malaise. Vaccination does not rule out the chances of a COVID-19 infection and containment measures will still have to be observed. Even when you get vaccinated, you will still continue to wear your mask. You will still need to continue washing your hands. You will still need to continue with the, uh, keeping uh, distancing. If Kenyans were to pay for the vaccine, it would cost 700 shillings per person, a cost that the government plans to bear. In total, on aggregate, you know, the, the budget uh, that we are, you know, looking at and trying to, to compute in terms of needs and logistics and, and the target population is coming close to 34 billion Kenya shillings. The vaccine brings with it hope for Kenya as the country tries to fight the pandemic. But it may be a while, at least three years, before the vaccine guest to the common monanchi. Anyone who is below 50 years and who does not have an underlying condition will just have to continue to be patient and observe the COVID-19 protocols. Rita Tinina, KTN News. Well, don't forget that we are having world-to-world -world coverage for you tomorrow on the vaccines, the arrival, and, of course, the intended vaccination. Most important, how it will get to your arm um, and, of course, who are the priorities. Well, it's about uh, 15 minutes past the top of the hour. Caleb Kositang is still no show, but we'll try and get him for you. Time now for a short break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.